What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today's video is a mask unboxing video that will go right along with Goosebumps Week. Now I have two packages here from the exact same seller and the packages look identical, although I did order two things from them, I'm just not sure which is in which, so we're just going to open one at random and see which one we have. I have no idea which is which, so, so it's going to be one of the haunted masks from Trick or Treat Studios, it's either going to be the first one or the second one from the TV series of course. Which leads me to today's question and that question is, do you prefer the haunted mask from the first episode or do you prefer the haunted mask from the second episode? First one is kind of like a gargoyle gremlin looking monster monster and the second one is like a weird old man kind of zombied out like he's really dead and uh, I have to say that I prefer the second one I just find it a lot creepier with the weird tooth and I don't know it just looks miserable the other one's cool but it just never quite caught my eye the way that the second one did I even prefer it on the cover of the book as opposed to the cover of the Haunted Mask 1. So let me know down below which one you guys prefer, the Haunted Mask 1 or 2 aesthetically. I just want to know what you guys think about the difference in the masks and let's get on with this unboxing. Also, if you're wondering what is going on with my hair, I had a hat on just a second ago. I took it off and was getting ready to record and Kate requested that I leave my hair like this and not put a hat on. So. As per request of Kate, you guys get to stare at this awesome do that I've got going on. Okay, with that being said, like I mentioned, both of these are identical packages. They both came from the same seller and they arrived on the same day, which is super strange because I ordered them a few days apart, but it is what it is. So I'm not sure which one has which in it, and uh, we are going to go with the right side because that is which hand I am. So we're going to open this up, and like I said, I have no idea, you guys are going to be seeing this with me for the first time, and uh, it's either going to be Haunted Mask 1 or Haunted Mask 2, both by Trick or Treat Studios, so let's dig in and find out. And it looks like we have the Haunted Mask 2, which is dope, because that is my favorite out of the two. Go ahead and take it out of the bag here. Sorry if that was a little noisier than it should have been. So yeah, there you go. This is uh, Trick or Treat Studios, officially licensed and no longer in production because if you guys didn't know, Trick or Treat actually lost and or gave up their rights to the Goosebumps stuff because Spirit Halloween was just trying way too hard to cash in with them. And as we all know, Trick or Treat Studios isn't known for super high quality stuff, probably the best mass produced stuff that you can get, but they are miles and miles away from Spirit Halloween as far as quality goes. Spirit just kind of butcher stuff, doesn't offer a wide range of products, doesn't really care. They just want to make money for the season, whereas Trick or Treat Studios actually cares about at least giving you guys something decent for the price that you're paying. This was about $50 shipped, maybe $60 after the shipping. As I mentioned before in the Trick or Treat Studios Myers mask stuff, as long as you have a good foundation, in this case being a sculpt, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can put a different paint job on this, different finish. You can always rehair it, which I don't think I'll be doing. I'll probably just be leaving it stocked and tagged to go on display. Maybe changing something slightly on the other mask, but we'll talk about that more when the video comes. Uh, but yeah, as far as like sculpts go, Trick or Treat Studios usually hits the nail right on the head, if not very, very close and you guys can do what you want as far as refinishing them and rehauling them. But I do have to say, after looking this thing over, I actually am pretty impressed with it. I mean, it's a $50, $60 mask, and for it to look as good as it does for that price, I think we've gotten pretty lucky with Trick or Treat Studios. You guys can say what you want about the people that run the business. I'm going to stay far away from that because I've had my issues and I've had some really cool things happen, so I'm on the fence. But as far as product goes, I would say that you'd be pretty safe getting one of these, especially since they're no longer made. This was just a random store on eBay that I found, and I got something that looks this good, and I'm pretty impressed with it. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stuff this, display it, and give you guys a nice up-close look at it. We'll probably take it outside in the natural lighting too, and uh, I'll probably throw it on and see how it fits and all that good stuff. So hopefully tomorrow's video is going to be a big one for Goosebumps Week, probably one of my all-time favorite scores that I've ever gotten. Haven't seen it yet. It's supposed to be delivered today. I mentioned it yesterday, and I'm super, super stoked to finally own one. So look forward to that. Goosebumps Week continues. The Haunted Mask 2.
All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you later. What the heck? I can't, I can't get it off.